Welcome back to Totally Tubular Trucker. My name is Chris Bo, and I'm a trucker bro. Nothing in this world can get between me and my true love. That's right. Another day, another dollar, I say. I'm just living life here in my own truck world. Here I go, pulling out for my first delivery of the... Oh, fuck, Jimmy, watch out! Jimmy, I tried to hit the brakes, brother, but I keep on making mistakes, brother. Oh, you all right, Jimmy? Oh, he's fine. Well, they always tell me I gotta finish the job. <laughs> oh, I think I'm about to back into something. Mama always did tell me to back it up. Yep. Mama also told me sometimes you'd hit roadblocks and laugh. Shit. How you doing, Bilbo? Having a nice... I'm gonna right... I'm right behind you, bro, bro. Hey, yo, Jimbo. Let me get on the road first, brother. No rush. All right, I'm gonna be taking a left here. Actually, you know what? Sometimes you just gotta go with the flow, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, dog? Sometimes you just gotta go with the flow. <laughs> oh, fuck! I think I killed him! My mom always told me it was okay to just kind of look away from things at sometimes. So my day's been going pretty well. How's yours going? Oh, shit! I'm about to have an accident. It's important to keep all seven of your chakras open when you're driving a truck things can get pretty stressful and if there's anything i am not it is stressed what is stress some would say it's the tension a rubber band feels when you pull on it others would say it's how a penguin moves in the water if you don't see the 5-0 you gotta go all right there feller you have a goddamn nice day i'm gonna be taking a right here so i'm just gonna go around oh shit i may have caused some damage to the other guy but that's okay no there's not there's no kind of hurt or pain that can be fixed with a little band-aid slap that bitch a bandage on that shit and it'll be right as right that's a pretty nice car you got there fella would be a shame if i I think I ran over that son of a bitch. I feel like this isn't the best time to say that I haven't actually got my license yet. Oh my god, it's a cop! I ain't got time to be dealing with your shit! People got packages that they try and get right now! Oh my god, there's spikes in the road! Oh shit, it's alright, it was just a speed bump. You know, my mom always told me sometimes you're gonna run over spikes in the road. You gotta be on your tippy toes. Otherwise, you could get jumped. Like by a giant spider. She told me one time. It's quite the funny story, actually. She was just driving her truck. We're a truck family. It's run down, passed down generations. Just like our underwear are. And she told me one time. Turned to right at the red light. And a giant fucking hornet came out the side. And fell into her passenger seat. Oh, my bad. I need to pay attention. The hornet came in and stung her ass. So now she tells me to watch. Fuck, I think I was speeding, bruh. I gotta take this exit. But I can't ever e exit my eternal pit of despair. Oh, shit! <laughs> I would say walking, but I'm currently driving a truck. Yuck, yuck. So I'm a driving sack of shit. Bitch, I got the right of way. You know, a famous wise man named MC Hammer said stop hammer time. I never quite figured out what the hammer time part meant but I sure do be stopping. Is that a supermarket? What's so super about it? Carl's bad? What did Carl do? Darn it. The GPS tell me to turn left. I went wrong with- Oh fuck I better back up. Back up. Reverse. Reverse. Oh, fuck he's gonna fucking kill me. What a damn that was a close one. What the? I'm stuck. I don't even know if someone's coming now man. Trailer damage. Bitch I ain't hit nothing yet. How the goddamn fuck I'm supposed to pull out of here. You know I- Hey buddy watch where you fucking turned in there. Oh shit brother. <laughs> Just end me now, please. Let me go up there with you. I want to be free from this hell down here. A skilled truck driver can deal with any maneuvering in tight spaces. Well, my honor as a trucker is on the line. I will not let you down. I must align the seven seas in my mind. I will go beyond my limits. I Did I just fucking miss it?
Fuck this shit! Oh wait! I did it! Why do I follow what the GPS tells me to- Oh fucking shit, dude! You gotta- ah! Is this how Ralph felt in Wreck-It Ralph when they wouldn't let him come out of the video game? Because he was big? Sometimes I wish I drove a small truck. Or like a Prius. No, I'm not gonna take that exit. I'm tired of going wherever the GPS tells me to go. I'm gonna live on my own two feet. I'm gonna forge my own path. And my own destiny as truck bro. I'm tired of conforming to the ways of society. And you know what? I'm tired of driving this truck. I'm going to the other side and there's nothing you can do to stop me. You want to know why? Because I'm... <laughs> My life is a wreck. <laughs> this is what happens when you try to go. When you fucking diverge from the beaten path. I don't even know what that word means. Just as grandma used to tell me it's all good in the hood. I don't want to be a truck driver. I want to be a rapper. I'm going to start a SoundCloud. I'm going to slick my hair back and look dapper. All right, let's get it. The name's Grizzbo, and I can't be told no. Driving down the whole road, I'm slow, but the flow cold. In my big truck, I yuck, yuck, because I ain't give no fuck. Mama always told me to love and drive trucks. But duck, if you see the clouds of gold, the sun's coming up. I still got none to hold. The wheels on the bus go round. I hit the town. No fussing, straight cussing's how we do it. My cousin Grizzbo, the illest trucker I Alive, not up for discussion. Ooh, I'm feeling like a hillbilly truck. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. You forgive me, I forgive you. Love your neighbor like you love thyself or something like that. Excuse me, sir, I'll just be going... What'd you say to me? Bitch, I'll get out this truck right now. I'm fucking back on my EP and shit. I keep driving and never quit. I just go and go. I'm on the road. And I don't know what happened to my nose. My mama took it from me when I was seven years old. And she never gave it back. <laughs> Damn, I'm gonna take off as a SoundCloud rapper. Sir, you're gonna have to speed the fuck up, man. I'm trying to get a place to be, bro. I'm like that fucking bunny from Alice in Wonderland. Might as well carry around a clock, you know what I mean? Wanna race? Fuck out of grip, bitch, I'm gonna win this Why does life always end up at a standstill? Anytime I wanna have fun, it tells me I can't. You guys wanna hear a story about when I was a kid? I know you do. I was three, I was like four or five. I could have been seven even. I was in like kindergarten or something. Well, if I was in, if I was seven in kindergarten, I mean, it must have been one silly kid, you know what I mean? Or maybe I started late, I don't quite remember. But anyways. We had recess. That was always my favorite time as a kid. Because all the other kids would be out there like playing and shit. And I loved playing with the other kids as a kid. Specifically. Like we would play tag. Or hide and go seek. They could never find me though. I like to think I was pretty damn good. Actually, right looking back on it, maybe they just weren't looking for me. Anyway, so I took out my dick and I started peeing on the tree. And I got sent to the principal's office for indecency. But how was I supposed to know that I wasn't supposed to do that? Come on, man. When nature calls, you gotta pee on it. Let's get down to business to drive a truck. That's my favorite song from American Truck Driver, volume one. I think the other one was like, I can show you a truck. Look how beautiful the stars are at night. Fuck. It's nights like these when I think about love. I think about how nice it must be to have someone to hold. You got that, that one person in the whole entire world. And they're like, I want you to touch my hand. You know how beautiful that is? Love, I've always wanted to have love, <sighs> but I drive a truck. Ancient history says that if you drive a truck, you're unfit for love because truck drivers have no soul and therefore we cannot feel love. On a full moon, that's what the Transformers movies are based off of. We turn into trucks and we're trying to find someone. Our whole lives we search for someone to drive us. That's why like when they say Autobots, roll out. That translates to somebody please love me. Quite sad when you think about it that way. It's all about perspective. <gasps> work ahead i sure hope it does ah! pulled over on the side here to kind of turn the lights off and get a good look at the at the beautiful night sky it's just so wonderful nature and all of its glory sometimes you just gotta take it all in 
Somebody once told me How the fuck was I supposed to drive on the road with all this road work? This is so... This is so inconsiderate to the thousands of truck drivers that pass through here every single night, including myself. I'm fucking stuck, aren't I? Oh, now I see this is what I was supposed to do. Good work, gentlemen. Well, another successful mat. Oh, shit! The stop sign! Oh, that was a crazy video. <gasps> Will Grisbo keep trucking along? Will he ever find true love? Find out next time on Totally Tubular Trucker! Thank you to my patrons, Call Me Carson Liege, Nomex Productions, Avril Rose, Spade, Violet Sandoval, Joshua Powell, Indigo Ketchmer, Gibby, Dacia Rowe, Chase Fanon, Cadis Salk, and Cap!